Being a groomsman isn't just a respected badge of honor signifying lifelong brotherhood. It's a responsibility to deliver the most expensive blackout possible. If you didn't get tased by a street cop, or death threats from his fiance, we fucked up. Then you, you didn't, didn't do your job. We're gonna show you how to put the party in a wedding party. We're good, streaky! You better stock up on that Pedialyte. And, uh, probably take out a hard cash one. The thing to remember about these wedding parties is there's more hidden fees than an Airbnb. Which, speaking of, did you book the Airbnb for Vegas? What the f Vegas? We're supposed to go to Miami and swim with the pepper sharks. Nah, he's being a groomzilla. I couldn't charter a boat in international waters. It's not even the bachelor party. We're already getting f Wait, which, speaking of, he said no strippers at the bachelor party. What? How are we supposed to create unforgettable secrets? Which brings us to rule number one. Never respect the groom's wishes. This asshole is making you spend a couple grand so you can throw him a party? Hey, don't call your friend an asshole. He's paying for the wedding. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. His fiance's dad is paying for the wedding. That's why he married her. And honestly, my friend wouldn't make me play Russian roulette by ordering a tuxedo online. Wait, what? Uh I thought we were going men's warehouse route. You're gonna like the way you look. No, he doesn't like the shade of charcoal black that they're off. So now I gotta pay $200 for a pair of slacks I probably own? $300. $300! Yeah, and I bet you don't own a salmon colored bow tie either. Salmon? It clashes with my eye color. Your eye color? Look at the color of my flesh. It's like salmon on salmon. Rule number two, keep a literal running tab of everything that he does wrong up until the wedding. Bachelor parties are the last legal way to haze somebody as an adult. His fiance may be a bitch, but so is payback. Whoa, not cool, but true. She scheduled the wedding on college football Saturday. What? That bitch, are you serious? That's 10 extra shots at the bachelor party. Actually, wait, no. You're responsible for the bar tab. The groom is going to use you to get fucked up. So if you run up a bar tab, all you got to do is just commit insurance fraud. Oh, really? Yeah, just call the insurance company and say your credit card was stolen. I didn't know that was legal. It's not. Which brings me to my next point. Rule number three. If you're the best man, tell everyone that the Airbnb fees are a lot higher than they really are. And if they ask for receipts, accuse them of not trusting you. Do you trust me? View it as a inconvenience fee. Inconvenience fee. The groom is inconveniencing you by inviting his lame ass finance buddies to also be groomsmen. Oh, shit. I forgot about Andrew? Bobby. Andrew? Bobby? Shit. Well, if Andrew's gonna be there, we're definitely gonna have to get more food. Badass. See? That's why you overcharge for stuff. Rule number four. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Unless, Unless you record, record it. it. Make sure you film as many incriminating moments as you can throughout the bachelor party. And if somebody doesn't pay up, threaten to release the footage to their employer. Or fiance. No, absolutely do not release it to the fiance. You've already spent a couple grand on this wedding alone. You don't want them finding love again. Yeah. It's already put you in debt once, and in some cases, court. Are you talking about the party bus in New Orleans? Who schedules a wedding during Mardi Gras? Point is, you only want them to find love one time. Consider this financial advice. Rule number five. After the bachelor party, take some time apart. Take a breather. Ah, uh, you just spent an entire weekend getting blackout drunk with a bunch of strangers. And in some cases, getting hit on by them. Bobby? Andrew. Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Now's the time to clear your head before the rehearsal dinner. Some of you may have a best man speech. My brother's a douche. Uh -huh. It's extremely important to write two best man speeches. One before the bachelor party and one after. Hey, if the maid of honor tries to be funny, hit him with a sentimental tearjerker. And if she goes serious, then pull out some funny bachelor stories. My brother's a douche. Either way, you want the person following you to feel more uncomfortable than wearing a suit during summer. Yeah, you look like a sweaty butler. The best man speech isn't a speech, it's a TED talk. Yeah, who knows? Your next investor for your new startup company might be there. The rehearsal dinner is gonna be the first time you see a return on your investment. Rule number six, the final rule. The wedding is your day. Your bank account has just gone through the trenches of friendship. Now it's your time to shine. <laughs> As a member of the wedding party, you'll be taking more photographs than Kendall Jenner getting out of a G-Wagon in a miniskirt. Don't be afraid to pull aside the wedding photographer and snap some pics for the gram or some new LinkedIn headshots. And if you don't like the gal you've been paired with to escort you down the aisle, switch it up. The wedding planner can plan on kissing your ass if they don't like it. That's all I need to know. It's all about walking down the aisle with the finest piece of arm candy. Who knows? You two might hit it off. But if not, you'll get some photos to make your ex jealous on social media. Which really, isn't that what life is all about? Thank God for Instagram stories. I can see you, Michelle. I miss you. Don't say that. I don't. Really? After thinking about it, the best thing to do when someone asks you to be a groomsman is just say no. Weddings are a lot more fun when you can just show up and get f***ed up. The best responsibilities are no responsibilities. Smoke grass, eat ass.